Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software, where today we're going to be looking at Power BI progress trackers or progress tracker bars, a Nodax quick solution using the tree map and a table. And then we'll also look at how we can use shapes and DAX to, to get into the more nitty gritty stuff. So the data is simple. Um, mock company, and we're tracking the sales across different products and the growth of the company from there, as we'll see. Now, if we want a progress bar, so to speak, how do we do that in simple and a bit more of an intermediate complex way? Well, you can see we didn't have much data to begin with. So if I go here into my folder, I just created a target where we can say the the end goal or the target is to have 20 million in sales, let's say. And in order to do that, to make things sort of relatable, I can just sum the total sales of all those products. And then we can get remaining sales where we just subtract those total sales from the target. So how much we've got to go until we reach our target. Now, how do we replicate something like this bar at the bottom very quickly? Well, we can take a table and we just need to add in two fields. One of those will be our total sales and the other one will be that remaining sales to our target. So again, the, the difference between the target and the total sales. Now, if we hit tree map while selecting our table, we've already got something reminiscent of the the bottom progress bar or the progress tracker you know you can do the formatting you can take the category category off the background off add narrative elements and so on but that's how you can really quickly get quite an intuitive progress bar for your dashboards it doesn't have too many elements it wouldn't affect performance greatly and um, should be quite a quite a quick solution and you can also add things like a percentage calculation cards to display the current total sales or remaining sales and format that however you like obviously if you wanted to get the percentage calculation you could just divide the um the total sales over the target and that should work for you now as a concept what if we want something like the top progress bar that's made up of several different components well let's break down how it's done the outside is just a rectangle shape and we have four smaller rectangle shapes within to replicate what these stages look like along the process. And within there, we have text boxes. I've got a unicar symbol and down below just a shape and some narrative elements to help people decipher what this actually means. And we have several measures. Now, the first one that's critical is I take the sales stage. So if it's under 5 million, I give it the value one with the switch statement, the more advanced if between five and 10 million, two, 10 and 20 million, stage three, stage four, which we've marked as worldwide sales is, you know, sales greater than 20 million. It's just the last in the, in the switch statement, the last uh, clause or, or the else statement in an if statement. So what we can do from there within each shape, we've designated that as stage one, two, three, or four. We just need to create four if statements. Um, let's say we give it a gold color if we're currently in that stage as per our sales. And if not, we give it a default color. So I've made the first two stages a light blue because we've already we've already tackled them as stage four. Um, could be that darker navy where we're yet to get there. Now, we just need to take these measures and we can conditionally format within the fill or the background. One thing to note, within some of these shapes or in certain circumstances, you may not be able to, to just color the fill. So what I do here, I actually give the fill um, just, just a standard white color and 100% transparency. And that allows me to go in and actually change the background color. So what I'm actually doing here within these shapes I'm conditionally formatting the background color with our measure. So you can see there, if I go in, I've got it um, based on the field shape background color stage three. So basically what we're doing, we've converted the sales to a, a numeric value between one and four um, that's aligned with these smaller rectangles. 
and then we say if it's within that stage we give it a gold color if not we give it these standard colors that you see within the screen now i also wanted to add some shadow color to further define which stage we're currently at so again that's done within a an if measure that's essentially similar to the to the background measures shadow shape three i've called it and what that does if we're currently in the the sales stage in this case we are in sales stage three we give it a white shadow if not we give it the black shadow to blend in with the background and from there we can go and conditionally format these rectangles so again to reflect in the process we give it a numeric value if it's between our total sales are between the certain values and we're at, we're at that stage and then we just give it the relevant if statement for which color we want the rectangle to be dependent if it's activated if we're at that stage and if not we give it a default color like you can see here in the shape background color stage i've also added a unicar value just within a card to to further help people see the stage we're at you know there's several ways that you can do this but for this example i've just placed it simply within a card and you can get these unicar values for certain um, icons from w3 schools great resource so check that out i give it a nar narrative element down here to help people see obviously we're using a lot of shapes may affect performance if we were in quite a heavy report so it's something to consider but i want to give you a flavor of how you can take an approach towards different um progress bars really it can be creative as you like as long as you want to use that reusable dax code if not you could use conditional formatting rules but it might be get a bit trickier and harder to follow so as usual if you find this content helpful please feel free to like comment subscribe and share thank you